morning. Morning. How are you? Morning. How are you? So, uh, you know, Dorian's still unavailable today? Dorian is unavailable today. What about Parker? Parker's unavailable. Keegan? <laughs> Keegan's here. Dorian has said that this is the best offensive line he's had in the four years. What have you seen from them? You know, what, what uh, you know, scheme-wise, development, uh, how are they looking in your eyes? Well, I think the key is development because they've all played a lot of football. So a lot of those guys have gotten, you know, Sean's going into year three, Alex going into year three. Uh, Sam's been around for a long time. John Gaines has played a lot of football for us. Um, Paul Gratton came in, you know, as a grad transfer a year ago and is back again, but was a three-year starter at Villanova before he got here. Um, and then you're starting to see guys like Mafi and Siali and those guys get a lot more comfortable. So um, they've been around and they, they're a byproduct of their experience and we have more depth so we can play more guys up there, which I How are some of the need in this league. Sorry. How are some of the freshmen? Anyone uh, standing out they're right doing, now? They're doing really well. They've, you know, a couple of them are early in rallies, Patrick Selna and Thomas Cole. Um, and then Ben Roy and Garrett Giorgio joined us um, at the beginning of the summer. Um, but they've all picked things up really quickly. Um, ben and Garrett, especially because they're the two newer ones, but they've really done a nice job. Um, and Garrett's run a couple times with the twos um, just because of a bang up or something where they just kind of moving up and down and Justin's moving those guys all around. But um, all those young guys look really good. What have you seen from Ethan Garber in practice? Ethan's done a really nice job. You know, obviously we, it was fortunate for us that we got a chance to get him in for spring ball. So he, you know, getting that underneath him um, is big. Uh, but he's capitalizing on his reps and um, he's done a nice job of fitting in. And I think uh, he's got a great way about himself. Really knows how to think like a quarterback. Was coached really, really well at Corner Del Mar. They do such a good job down there. Coach O'Shea does a really, really, really good job with, with everybody down there. So, um, you know, he was, he's got a lot of experience coming in. You know, sometimes, some kids maybe come in from a more limited background, but um, they ran a pretty diverse offense down there and threw the ball a ton. So um, he, he, it's just a matter of him just getting comfortable every day with what we're doing here. Skill set wise, what, do you, what does he bring to that position? He's an extremely accurate thrower. You know, he's got repetitive accuracy. Um, he's got a lot of velocity on the ball. Um, he's, he's really intelligent. He's a good decision maker. Um, he doesn't force the issue. Sometimes when guys have really strong arms, they just think they can, can no matter what the coverage is, they can get that ball in there. But I think he's really smart and, and uh, makes real good decisions out there. So I've met, it's just a matter of getting them reps to, to get them really comfortable in what we're doing. Did you see what uh, Arizona State announced last night in terms of leaving unvaccinated players, coaches and staff off of the travel rosters in order to abide by other state laws and for the safety of everybody? What do you think of that? Do you think other schools should do it? And would UCLA consider that? I didn't see that. And I would think, and maybe correct me on this, that that wouldn't be considered here because you can't go to school here unless you're vaccinated. So, you know, I think that's a UC system with so Cal. And I know I talked to David Chell Stanford's under the same thing. So to be out here, you have to be vaccinated or you, or you have to get a waiver. So. It, that's really not an issue here. Ray Anderson announced it last night and said it was for the safety not only of his players but for the visit of the teams where they're going to play, the home teams where they're going to yeah, play. Yeah, I, I, didn't, I didn't see that. But. You got Devin and Jay on the, on the defensive line. What's that doing for the line now? Well, Devin's playing outside linebacker for us. Um, and then Jay's oh. obviously an interior defensive lineman for us. So, again, they're just two quality kids that we, you know, we, we recruited really hard. and. Um, you know, thought they would fit, especially for what we do schematically. Um, so it's just they're they're still just got here. Um, you know, I, I, Dev's still not in full pads. He's still going to be in uppers right now, just because you got to follow the um, start practice NCA protocols in terms of how many days in helmets, how many days in uppers, and then how many days in full pads. But um, they both have a, a, a really good skill set. Um, and it's, you know, it's early, but I'm impressed with both those guys so far. Any update on uh, uh, Jay's eligibility for this season? No, nah, I haven't talked to anybody about that. So. I think you said uh, Devin was two days. So would that be him returning or in pads tomorrow? Or? Yeah, he's in shells today. Okay. So but full it's pads just when we can get the full. Well, we may not be in full pads tomorrow. Okay. The rules are different this year than they've ever been. So mm -hmm. there's only a certain amount of practices. 
during preseason camp that you can have in full pads, certain amount of practices you can have in helmet and shoulder pads, um, and then certain amount of practices you have to have just in helmet. So um, that fluctuates, and you can't go two days in a row in full pads. So none of us will be in full pads tomorrow. Yeah, the, uh, the the running back room. You obviously have a lot of experienced guys, or Charbonnet, or Brown, uh, Kaz, or Fernea. Uh, but you're down Dimitrik Felton from last year, who is kind of a, a do-it-all kind of guy. Is there someone you want to fill that role of, of kind of being able to do it all, to hide what you're doing when you send him out on the field, or is that something that everyone should be able to do? No, they all can do it. You know, they, they all are really skilled at uh, pass protection, and that's first and foremost that you have to do if you're going to be a third down back. Um, and they're really good route runners, and all of them have really good hands. So, you know, we don't miss... Um, you know, felt did it a little bit more because of how talented felt was. So we just earned that playing time. But you know, we feel comfortable in, in, uh, with all of those guys if we were running the football. And we feel comfortable with all those guys if we're throwing the football. So you know, I don't think you're going to get a tell on who's in the game um, based upon uh, who's in the game. Based up, that means we're going to do this. You know, I think uh, it's the ability for those guys to do it all. And I think all all those guys that you mentioned are complete backs. So. They can handle, you know, whatever we ask them to do in terms of play calling. Do you think this is the most, uh, the the deepest running back group that you've had? Yeah, since I mean, every UCLA? every position is the deepest because we have we've had so many people that have experience here. So since we've been here, this is, you know, two years ago we had 87 freshmen and sophomores. Now two years later, those guys are all juniors and seniors. So um, this is the deepest at every position. You can say that at running back, you can say that at quarterback, you can say that at tight end, you can say that at D line. Inside linebacker, secondary, every position on our team. This is the deepest we've been since we've been here. So. What improvements are you looking for specifically from the secondary? Obviously, you got a ton of experience guys, like mm -hmm. I just mentioned, and, and some of the transfers stay back. And yeah. So you, so you really got. I, I think in, in every aspect, I think that usually it's always the same things. They've got to be sound tacklers because they're tackling in the open field. Um, you know, it's a little bit different than a defensive lineman trying to make a tackle. There's you got to you know you got to be able to close space and. Um, be able to a lot, a lot of times make individual tackles back there, not gang tackles that usually happen when the ball's being run up the middle. Um, and just coverage skills, you know, can, can we disrupt um, the timing um, of the quarterback and the receivers in terms of being able to get our hands on receivers as, as they're trying to get downfield? Um, and then how close are we uh, to the receiver when the ball is thrown? You know, so um, it, it, if we can close that separation gap between the receiver and the defensive back, and we have, then we, the quarterback has to be that much more accurate in terms of being able to complete the ball. And um, We did a really good job last year, but we need to continue to improve and get better, especially um, in the tackling and then finishing it, 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 when the ball's in the air. We just got to finish those plays. So. Just to clarify the timeline, uh, when do you decide whether a practice will be pads or no pads? Is it day before, day of? We have a skeleton of what it will look like, but a lot of it will depend on feedback from the training room, you know, because if we say, hey, we're going to go, you know, we're scheduled to go Monday in full pads and then in Sunday's practice, you know, you get a couple guys hurt at key positions. Do you not want to waste that full padded practice? Because if we wait a day, they're coming back. So, you know, a, a lot of that really depends on, we have a skeleton of what the practice schedule will be, um, but we have to really wait till the day of, or really the night before in terms of what our trainer is telling us and who's available, who's not available. So. Um, it's a combination of those two. All right, last question. All right, thanks, Coach. All right, thanks, guys, coach. thank you.